Hey guys, today I would like to share you some of the tweaks that I personally use on my iPad after jailbreak. Like on a budget iPad like this, usually you miss some of the functions that you need. And I think um, jailbreak my device is the best way to get some of the feature that I need. So uh, that's why I make this video and share you some of the tweaks that I personally use. Like uh, usually if you enable dark mode, you're gonna get dark mode on all apps throughout your iPad. You cannot select specifically, but uh, with the tweaks that I like because I can select specifically for the app that I want to go to light mode or dark mode. For example, if I want to go uh, into the app store with light mode, I can just go ahead and 3D touch on it and then I can just simply hit on light mode. And um, you can see here on my app store, I have light mode, but um, on the other app, it just um, dark mode as usual, like you can see here. So I think this one is very useful for me um, in some like condition. Next one is the tweak that I can play YouTube music in a background mode, like when I go back into my home screen and you can see uh, the, the music is still playing. And uh, this is the a feature that Apple should include on the iPad like uh, we can multitask and we can uh, listen to music and uh, do other things at the same time and I think it is very important that's why I installed the tweak and uh, apply it on my iPad and it is a very useful one the biggest problem for the iPad uh, Apple didn't include battery health on the iPad um, so um, I decided to install the tweak uh, where I have like I can check the battery health here you can see we have the a maximum capacity. I think the reason that Apple didn't include this feature because the iPad um, already had the biggest battery compared to uh, the iPhone. The last tweaks that I always use on my iPad is a power selector uh, where you can reboot, uh, go to set mode or respring. Uh, the reason that I use the tweak is because sometimes uh, my iPad gets stuck, I need to respring. Sometimes I need to like do a restart to make sure um, everything works fine without having to power off my iPad completely. So if I power off my iPad, I need to re again, which is uh, annoying. So I think the tweak is um, the must have for your iPad. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you like this video. Then I will see you guys in the next one.